I recently did a video on my scrap bin channel showing me cutting a wide uh, piece of plywood on here and doing it in two passes on the miter saw. I find that convenient to do because I have the miter saw set up here already. It can cut 12 inches. All I need to do is slip it over and cut the other 12. The problem comes in supporting the sheet. My side wings here are not very big. And what I did in the video is I used a clamp to clamp the two pieces together. But while I was editing the video, I got the idea that it would be neat if there were some sort of supports here that could either fold out or slide out to support a sheet that's wider. And I wouldn't have to do that. I could quickly, you know, just uh, pull it out, flip up the support and, you know, make my cut and then slide them right back in. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Now, strictly speaking, I don't need them on both sides. Usually when I cut a piece, the bigger piece is going to be over on this side and the smaller piece, I'll have my hand on it anyway. But I think, you know, while I'm at it, I may as well do both sides. That way I'll have more options for cutting in the future. So I gave it some thought and what I have planned is just to use a simple piece of plywood to come out. It'll slide out beside here out through a pocket that's in here, or I'll put in here anyway. Now, if you watch the videos while I made this miter saw station, you'll know that the majority of it is just screwed together so that I could take it apart at some time in the future if I need to. And that's the case with these little filler pieces in here. There's just one screw, I think, that holds those in place and I can take it right out. And what I'll be able to do is make the piece so that it slides in there right beside that. So like I said, I've already cut the piece, but I haven't tried it yet. I don't want it too tight. I don't want it too sloppy either, but this is a bit too tight. So I'm just going to trim about a sixteenth of an inch off of this so that it'll slide in there freely. Uh, this piece is about 45 inches long. I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'll have one for that side and one for the other side. They'll be plenty long enough. There are a few different ways to guide this so that it slides straight out and back in again. Uh, I think one person said a drawer slide, but this really doesn't need to slide that smooth, so I'm not going to use one here. And I don't think I'm going to be using this every day, so hardly justifies the expense of using a you know full extension drawer slide in there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make an L-shaped piece of hardwood that lifts up over the top here only. And what that will do is it will keep it in tight over here so that when it slides out it doesn't come out this way. And it will also give support so that you know when you push down on it this way it doesn't tip up. Now those guys don't have to be very big, so I've got a block of wood here that once again came from the entertainment unit. And I think I can get both pieces out of this. What I'll do is I'll just cut the rabbit in both sides and then split the block in half and use one half on one side and the other half on the other side. Okay, this is a bit tricky to film and to do at the same time. So, I don't know, just you'll have to use your imagination for some of it, I'm sure. <laughs> Pile it holes first. And then the two inch screws. Okay, that's enough of that horse shit. Ah, oh, come on. So I've got both of them put in. I even added stops to keep them from coming all the way out. And to do that, I just used a simple screw driven from underneath and then I put them back in. And that works like a charm. Uh, I've got one other thing I need to do with these supports themselves. 
and that's to add something to the front so that they'll be up to the same level as this. The only problem is that I want these to go all the way in and I can't have anything sticking up. So I figure a toggle that's offset so that, you know, while it's in, it'll be down, you could say. And when I pull it out, all I need to do is rotate it up and it'll be sticking up high enough to support the sheet that sits on the table here. So I've got a piece of solid maple here, the right size, and I'm just going to cut it to three and three eighths of an inch long. And then I can screw that onto the front so that I'll get that action. It'll be sticking up when it's up. And then when you turn it the other way, it won't be in the way and the thing can slide all the way in. Okay, I put that on. I guess I had a little bit of a brain fart or something because obviously, I mean, if it's toggled in the middle there, you're going to get the same up and down. I'll just do it. I'll just put it. Actually, I'll turn it upside down like it's supposed to be and I'll mark it on the back and then I'll recut these to the right length and put them back on again. Uh... Okay, that's the way it's supposed to work. I put the one on the other side as well. And that's all ready to go. I got one other thing I need to do uh, to button this up and that's to put the uh, filler pieces back in and they keep the dust from coming out here. So just need to cut them a little bit shorter, that's all. Before these fillers were attached from the end with a screw, but since this is in the way now, I can't do that. So I'm going to do the sensible thing and drive screws down from the top. I'm going to drill a pile of hole first and then drive the screws in. So all done. The only thing left to do is to try it out. I can't duplicate the exact thing that I did before, but I can get close. I've got the panel here and I'm just going to trim a little bit off the end. Give you the idea. Unfortunately, we're not done yet. I've got a confession to make. This doesn't work the way I thought it would. When I pull this one out and I flip that up and I take my sheet and I put it up there. Now if it's centered like that, it will support the sheet. That's fine. But if it's over, like if you've just finished making the cut, it won't support it completely. It'll start to fall down. So what I did was I added something to it and that's this simple post in here and this block of plywood or a piece of plywood with a square cut in it and that'll slip down and that'll hold it so that it can't tip out. And I think someone in the video where I cut this said something about that and this is the simplest implementation I could come up with and it really holds it well. So. Not everything works out exactly the way you perceive them in the first place, but the two of these together work really well. So I'm happy about that. Now I'm not going to add another one of them over there because I don't think I need it. I do all my cutting because I'm right handed with my right hand and I've got my body to control this side over here. So all I need, ideally, is something over there. So 